over the plate that you're not, A, you're not sure what to swing at, you're not sure what to pay attention to, and I think that's part of the plan of the Trump administration, is to do so many things at once that everybody gets swamped. Exhaust people, and it is exhausting. You know, it feels like his inauguration date was 114 years ago. And so we have a long, over two weeks ago. We have a long way to go. It's going to be hard. Like it's, it's easy to be angry on adrenaline, right? But it is much, much harder when you are just tired. And this is going to be exhausting. Yeah, it's going to be four years. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Jeremy's learning how to use maps for the first time. He's got his train at one, no, 145, right? Yeah. 145, so he should get there around 115 so he doesn't miss this one again, obviously. Let's just do it again, man. <laughs> just keep missing rides. Just keep missing rides and forgetting about them and paying more. Paying more and more and more. And not showering and trying to get some food but nearby so he doesn't end up going late to his place. So there's like a big area of Union Station we just walked into, or walked by, but it's not like the main entrance that they want him to go to. They want him to go like another 15 miles that way south or something. You know what they want? 15 home miles. Perfect place for us to go to, Jeremy. Blackies. <laughs> this place may be a little packed. We'll see. If it's too much, we'll go somewhere. Blackies. Revoked. Blackies it is for right now. This might, I'm, I'm afraid this might take too. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blackies is too full. There's too many people. It looks good in there though. At Blackie's. It does. We should check it out. Yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna go to Union Station and just get some dumbass food there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to be here, but we're walking here anyway. So here's like one of the entrances to Chicago Union Station. I like the Union Station in St. Louis too. I miss that place. That place is cool. But then business started going down or something. This looks tight. Oh yeah. I mean like if they gave you like a little code. Yeah, it's for the game I think. Code scanner paper thing. Gotta figure out if he's gonna print it out or you can use it on the phone. Pretty sure you can use it on the phone, but we'll find out. We'll see if I'm right. I'm right. One? It's not even one. Look at that. We're perfectly better on time than we were yesterday. I think we're learning from mistakes. Yeah, for sure. Mistakes are meant to be learned from. That's the point of them. Yeah. Just to teach you a lesson. General Tso's Cajun food? So we got it, Cajun Grill, so. I don't know, it seems like. It's pretty quality. It seems very Cajun. It's Cajun. You know, rice and, um, and General Tso's chicken and, um, mm -hmm. and some lemon chicken. That's pretty much the. Definition. That's how you. That's, that's just straight from the heart of Louisiana straight right there. Straight from the heart. Chinese <laughs> rice and. <laughs> That's just, that's just, yep, general salad. That's just, that's Cajun. Pure New Orleans cuisine. <laughs> well, Jeremy, it's been nice knowing you, man. Yeah, see you again. I <laughs> will never, ever see you again.
Don't ever let me catch you here again. Except for this weekend. Because you're moving here. Don't come back. Don't come back. I never want to see your face again here. Make sure you poof, vamoose, or take a take powder. Appreciate it, yeah. Be safe. Good seeing you, man. Paces. So hopefully this time he's not gonna get on the wrong train. Hopefully it'll be the right one going to St. Louis and not going to like Columbus. This is Hiromi's face mask for when it's really, really cold. <laughs>